Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Marble Science. Chris Berry is going to try and demonstrate Coriolis and end up discovering gravity. Warning! Severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. Well, who could have forgotten Chris Berry's attempt at duplicating the Cavendish experiment? I mean, seriously, all you need is a couple of trailer hitches, two kettle weights, a plastic spirit level, some masking tape, a little fishing line, and voila, there you have it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look a lot like this Cavendish experiment now, does it? But hey, the results were, uh, uh, well, there were no results. Okay, let's move on. Now, Chris doesn't believe the Coriolis force works the way it's described, so he's going to do his own demonstration and show us what really happens. Of course, there's no real need in that. There are a lot of videos, like the one you're watching, which clearly show what happens to an object that is moving in a rotating frame of reference. It always deflects, and it deflects exactly like this graphic shows. Let's see how Chris did his demonstration. All right, this is a Coriolis test. All right, I wanted to see what would happen if I did a Coriolis test. The setup was a bicycle tire on a bicycle that was flipped upside down. Upside down bicycle. Check. I, I attached my iPhone to the tire. Cell phone duct tape to the front wheel of the bicycle. Check. And I was using a little Nerf gun as the projectile. Nerf ball. Got it. And I got a bad feeling about it. And what, I mean, it, it, it worked basically. And what you'll see is I have four videos, two, two going from left to right and two going from right to left and both exhibit the same behavior. So this is, this is what Coriolis is guys. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's nothing to do with different speeds of the earth or any of this nonsense. Nonsense. You mean stuff like this? Um, it happens. It just happens to, to do with two rep, two different reference frames. One is the reference frame of the tire, and the other is the reference frame of the projectile, uh, AKA non inertial reference frame and inertial reference frame. Right off the bat, Chris gets this wrong. Let's read the definition of Coriolis force once again. In physics, the Coriolis force is an inertial or fictitious force that acts on objects that are in motion within a frame of reference that rotates with respect to an inertial frame. The Coriolis force only occurs in the non-inertial rotating frame of reference. Nothing occurs in the inertial reference frame. There is no Coriolis force in the inertial reference frame, Chris. Somehow or the other, you figure your Nerf ball is an inertial reference frame. The instant that ball leaves your Nerf gun, it is decelerating. That's a form of acceleration. That's enough to rule it a non-inertial reference frame to begin with. Secondly, it's being affected by gravity. It is following a ballistic trajectory. That is a second acceleration. The ball itself is not an inertial reference frame, Chris. Come on now, this stuff's not that hard. Um, so let's just take a look. Here we go. First left to right video. All right. So the first thing you'll notice is the pattern that it creates. And I drew in the little dots, right? So it's following the projectile. And you see here, there's a curve from, well, I don't know, right, right to left or however you want to call it, center around this way. Okay. Like a, basically it's going to, going to form a C. Okay. So let's watch the second left to right video. And you'll see the exact notice, watch the pattern. You'll, it's a different video, different, different, you know, time. Uh, watch the, for, watch for the pattern left to right. Okay. So we see the same C sort of arc shape this way, okay? That's just because the camera's the camera's spinning left to right on the tire. Now that that is the Coriolis 
effect. It's the apparent deflection of the projectile. Okay, it's not really moving that like that. That's just what it appears. So let's take a look from the other direction, from right to left. Same setup. Wow, look at that. You get the same pattern except on the other side because now we're switching directions. Okay, so here's that sort of, uh, call it backwards C pattern um, this way. And that's, that's exactly what we would expect. <laughs> that's exactly what you would expect, all right. You're seeing the ballistic trajectory of the ball. Whether that camera's moving or not, you're still going to see the ballistic trajectory of the ball. It's going to curve. It just does that. That's gravity. Okay, now let's watch the other one. Now the other one, I don't even know what I did on the video, but it's upside down or, or whatever, long ways. And you can actually see the pattern even better this way. It's pretty crazy. So there's a major hook, uh, hook pattern in the same direction, again, right to left. If you tilted your head, you'd see it. But um, the way that it's presented, just imagine if you were like looking at this thing on an actual, actual moving platform. You're an idiot! <laughs> okay, that's it. That's Coriolis effect, it's simple. There's no difference in speed, uh, at different latitudes on the earth, none of that nonsense, okay? Um, but that's it, it's real simple, verified, you can do it yourself, thanks. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. And hey Chris, remember, when we say how stupid can you be, that isn't a challenge. That's a question. Hey, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons down there. Hit either one of them, it doesn't matter. Click that little bell if you want notifications. There's a link to the Patreon. It'll be up in the description. And with that, we'll see you guys on the next one. Gladys, take us out of here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.